Hey guys, what's going on? It's not welcome along to an episode of Escape Simulator and uh, yeah, I thought it was about time to jump into some of these room puzzles and actually play them for real to kind of yeah, actually play the game rather than just playing community content. So off camera, I have already done the tutorial and when I had the demo, I'd already played First Chamber, so I'm not going to replay First Chamber. Instead, we're going to jump into Chamber of the Dead here in the Labyrinth of Egypt. And uh, we'll see what we can do in this level. So the previous one had like a 15 minute time limit. Uh, it looks like all of them do. So, uh, all right, let's have a look to see what we have got then. So we've got some symbols and a crowbar. Can we smash, use it to smash pots? Uh, does not like it. Okay. So not everything is needed all of the time. There is a lot of fluff I found in the first chamber that I did, which wasn't necessarily. I've got some witness kind of puzzles here. It's interesting. Scroll, which has a key inside of it. I'm guessing the key is going to be for this chest here. Let's move that out of the way, drag the lid off here. And what do we got here? Uh, you know, let's uh, drop those items. We have a statue of a head. Okay. And does this hold anything for us? Uh, as I've stumbled upon this, these modification jars, as I. I have some of them because, as I understand, they represent four sets, four sons of Horus. The longs were guarded by Happy, the baboon headed god, representing the north. Okay, we've got baboon headed, the jackal headed god, representing the east, um, guarded the stomach. Imet, Im, Imsent, Imseti, the human headed god, representing the south, guarded the liver. And lastly, intestines were guarded by Keeb. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. The falcon headed god, represented by the west. Okay. So you've got the, uh, the baboon head here, which is uh, interesting. So the jackal, sorry, let's read that again. The jackal rep was represented by the stomach. So we feel like we need a stomach item or something there. Uh, got some coins and a chalice, I don't think that's gonna be anything. Now, we've got some patterns here, haven't we? Uh, which is a square in the top and then like an L shape. Okay, so we need to... How do we do that, though? All right, there we go. And that gives us the heart. Okay, so the heart was what? Um... I don't know. Heart doesn't say. Oh, we need that piece there as well then. So what is that piece? Not sure. See, the jar is the heart, and then we need something else to go in there as well. So what have we got here? We've got a compass. Ah, now there was some directions, wasn't there? In this bit of information, there was some compass directions if I stopped dropping it on the floor. So the jackal representing the east. Okay, so if I hold the compass, is the jackal facing the east? No, it's not. So that is the east. Okay, interesting. Oh, the falcon. Okay, falcon. Ah, okay, 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 okay. Okay, I see what we're going to do. So, let's read this once again, because my memory is terrible. We all know that. So, the falcon is the intestines. So, that's the right one there. We've then got the baboon, which was the lungs. Baboon is lungs. That's liver. This one is lungs. Okay, so we need to find the other two. So where are our other two pots, I wonder? So we've got some weights here. 
One, two, and three. Do we just have to balance these out? That's five. A five, a two, and a one. So there might be some more of those to find, which there is down here, you see. Another scroll here. A round stone. Not sure where the round stone will go. It's not 100% used to the controls at the minute. Oh, they're all... Oh, hold on. Um... Okay, I'm guessing that they are going to correlate to weights. So, we could do ones in there. So that one is two. Okay. Then we could do the bird. Let's try five. Six. Right, the bird is six. And then we just need to know the snake. It's less than five, so I'm guessing it'll be three because we can't make any other number. No? So five is too heavy, three is too small, so it'll be four. Okay. It'll be four. All right, we've got the jackal. Now, the jackal was... What was the jackal again? My memory is terrible. <laughs> I, know, I, I know, I apologize for how bad my memory is. Why I try and play as many puzzle games as I can. Uh, the jackal is the stomach. Which is this one. So we're looking for one more. Scrolls. The token. Okay, not really much on those scrolls, but we do need one more. There's another token there. Must be something on these scrolls that I'm missing. I know from my experience with how what are we doing for time on there? I've got about halfway to the timer. Um, I know from my, my experience in the first one that the um, the symbols we had like we were able to translate the symbols. I'm not seeing that on this one. So where else can I find? Oh. Oh, is that a hint? Oh, I didn't realize that was a hint. Oh, okay. Well, didn't particularly want to go. All right, so we're looking for those symbols then. Um, it's not the symbols on the balls. So let's try and be a bit more observant then. Now that I'm aware they are symbols. Where else might we see some symbols? Symbol, symbol, symbols. The beetle there. Does the beetle? Beetle there, possibly.
We haven't used the crowbar for anything, have we? Ah. Okay. Can we... Can we deduce anything from these, I wonder? And can I open this last one? Oh, I don't think I can. Okay, so it is only those two that I can interact with. So what have we got here? Let's have a look at these again. There's five of these on here though, so it doesn't really... And are these the same? Are those scrolls the same? They are the same. Ha ha. Plant pots don't do anything. Um. everything in the bin. I like to have, I keep a bit of a tidy environment just so that I know what um, I've uh, seen and what I haven't seen. Okay. Chalice. I don't know what that's meant to be though, because I can get. I guess like I've got to put two things in his hands. One's that. I guess the other thing's going to come from here. I'm guessing I'm going to need the scrolls. That one's rubbish. Scales. Right, let's put that with the scales. I don't feel like that tells me anything. This is them worshipping the deceased.
All right. Um, that was a little bit naughty. So I got that and that. I got that and that from over here. So from that and then from the icon there. But where is there... Where is there a lion and like a dome? Um, we're out of time anyway for getting the bonus on this one. I need to find like a reference of like the lion and that like, half dome thing. Is it the, um, is it this? Does it say anything here? Human-headed god representing the south guide the liver. Liver, liver, burr. Well, that's not a human. Okay, and yeah, neatly they are all stacked up. Um, where, where do I get that from? Where does the lion thing come from? Crowbar? Is this something on like this middle bit? No. Oh, wait a second. Then I gotta put them in the right spots. Okay. Then we're gonna get something out of the middle here, I guess, to put on there, and then that'll be the exit. So we're going to need the compass. I'm also going to need to read this again. So heart north, stomach east. Heart. That's the stomach. Pretty sure this one is east here. Lungs, its intestines. Uh, oh, that doesn't make sense. Lungs north, sorry. Man, I really need to be more, pay more attention. South is the liver, west is intestines. Liver. So there, it's the stomach. Okay, so that's the feather. Okay, so I'm not entirely satisfied. How was I supposed to get? How was I supposed to get the lion and the semicircle? Gotta be in the scroll somewhere, right?
Right, there's no line on the semicircle there. Nothing there. Nothing there. It's the same as the other one. Nothing there. I'm not, I'm really not sure where I was meant to have got that information from. I really have no idea. I mean, the only thing we could probably do now is, can we, like, restart, maybe? Let's restart this level. And, um... Let's, um, maybe the hint... We'll, we'll have to, like, check the, check the, um, the hints. And, uh, see what hints we get. I think that's probably gonna be, like, the only way to... go about this. So, I just put a bit of paper. It's so hard to see that. So, I want lungs, lungs, stomach, liver. Lungs, liver, stomach. Third was six. It was six one four, wasn't it? Six two four. There we go. There's the jackal. Jackal is stomach. So we know it's that and that. Those ones we're absolutely positive of. Where did I get the key from? Key. There's nothing in that one. There's a pot there. Okay, uh, where did I get the key from? Where did I get the key from? <laughs> oh, the key was in the scroll. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to wait for this hint to recharge, then we'll see if it tells us where to find the last um, piece of the puzzle. Okay, let's press the button. What does it tell us this time? Oh, no, that's the same one we had before. We already knew that. Okay, well, let's wait a little bit longer. Okay, let's see what it gives us this time. Is it the same one or a different one? Oh... So I meant to use the crowbar, which gives me the lion. That, okay. Okay, so I, I hmm. So that's still not the answers, is it? That's, oh, so I need the three. 
Okay, well, I guess it is the answer. I just, I got pretty lucky then with what I considered to be the, um, uh, the answer to the, um, like the, the beetle. I, I thought I could see the beetle there, therefore I was taking it. But lesson learned here for like future puzzles is definitely if there's anything like this and you, you've got one there that's got those symbols, then obviously you're going to be looking for three of those symbols. So, yeah. That was uh, completely my fault, and uh, but I'm glad that I now know how it should have been solved. Um, I don't particularly like to brute force thing, brute force things, um, but yeah, there we go. That's how we do it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We're back real soon with some more Escape Simulator. But until next time, I've been Knock. You've been awesome. Thank you very much, and stay safe and happy gaming. Bye, guys.